fight commentary breakdowns. You guys really liked the last time I did African martial arts. So this time we're going to look at two more styles. The first style is called Merengue. Or Merengue. So this is from Madagascar. But it's not just practice in Madagascar. Look at those punches. It's actually all over the Indian Ocean trade route as it used to be called back in the day. So um, because of the sea trade it's spread to many islands. But So this style has punches, kicks, and until one opponent gives up or gets hurt is determined by a third party that he can't fight anymore. It just keeps going. So it's pretty raw. So kids can compete from 10 and I believe the upper age range is 35. So we see some blocking. We see one guy wrap his hands. They're slapping. Look at that. Really interesting. Not as many kicks as I thought. Let's go to another one. Maybe there's kicks. Let's look at this one. So, oh yeah, they're kicks. Yeah, they're definitely kicks. We just saw kicks. Why do you cut away from the action? So, yeah, there are kicks. Clinches are allowed. Look at that. Oh, this is brutal. So, this is called Capira. This is African Capoeira. And look at this. They, they practice this with... Knives, too. So this is some African Kapira sparring. Um, see, what I was going to say is I don't know if Capoeira started in Brazil and then made its way to Africa. Let's look at another video. This is Kapira, as it's called, the African version. So looks like there's ground fighting, very dirty fighting. He's going for the eyes. He's trying to bridge. Armbar, are you going to go for armbar? Looks like they don't know about the armbar, but I'm just going to... Whenever he goes for your eyes or gives you his... This is a gift, right? Whenever he gives you this and you have him in mount, you can armbar him so easily. But anyways, that's just a jiu-jitsu tip. So, this is them. You see, they got some dance moves. You see that? It's like dance fighting. But it looks like there's a lot of clinching, a lot of grappling, which is really cool. He's got the back... Got his hooks in. He's doing a rear naked choke. He's fighting for... Fighting the arm. Oh, he got out of it. Nice. You see, that's what you have to do. And now... Oh, that was a really great escape of a rear naked choke. I mean, it's not great, but it was a good demonstration. It is possible to escape a rear naked choke. It looks like he's tapping. But I want to see more of the dancing. Oh, here's some of the dancing. Look at that. So for those of you who do capoeira, or if you practice African capoeira, please let us know. What are some things I'm not seeing? So this is Goonie stick fighting. Oh my god, this is so cool. So it's spear and shield and stick. So you have a spear and a shield and you have stick. Oh my goodness. There's no protection either. Oh my god, this is so cool, guys. I think whoever gets contact first or whoever whoever falls to the ground first. Oh my god, this is so cool. Guys, I want to I want to travel to whatever country this takes place in Africa just to take part in this. This is so cool. Any of my African viewers, if you want to host me if I come, please let me know. This is Tatib Egyptian stick fighting. So there's two old men fighting. We can watch clips of younger people fighting. This is Zulu stick fighting. That looked a lot like the um, Goonie we just saw. But oh look at that. They dropped all their stuff. So guys, what's the difference between Zulu stick fighting and the Nguni stick fighting we saw earlier? I'm guessing it's from a different part of Africa, right? So let me know what part it is. Oh, this is so tight, guys. A lot of you hate it when I say this is so cool, but I'm just reacting right now. This is really tight. I've smacked one person with this stick in my life, so I don't know much about stick fighting. There's this fat guy who was pissing me off when I was in fifth grade, so I swung a stick at him. I really was trying to hurt him, too. He's pissing me off that bad. 
So what's the lesson, people? Don't get that angry. Oh, my goodness. Again, guys, they're not wearing any protection. So here's another clip of Zulu stick fighting. And in fact, this is, I think, much more aggressive. Look at that. There's throws. So this is from South Africa. Here they go. Look at that. There's lots of people in the background. It's like, wow. Well, if you want to stop fearing weapons as much, this is definitely something to do. Look at that. It's like a phalanx of people. Oh, my God. So this is a clip from 1976 of Tatib, the Egyptian stick fighting. So now that we've seen Zulu stick fighting, how does this compare to stick fighting from, from um, the Zulu nation? Now this looks much more ceremonial, right? It's much more ceremonial. So, look at that. Okay, it's different. Um, this goes into the debate of what is martial art and what is not, right? Is this dance? Like, is, is wushu martial art if it's just dance? This is the martial part, right? I mean, I'm sure if those people hit you with the sticks, you'd probably hurt, but... Let us know in the comments, man. What was your favorite? What other martial arts have we not looked at yet? This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Thank you so much. Um, if you want other regions of the world covered, I mean, we've looked at lots of Europe. We've looked at Africa. We've looked at Asia. I feel like we need to do South America, man. We need to do Capoeira. We need to look at South America. And Australia, you know, we've seen kangaroo fights and we've seen koala fights, but maybe there's other types of fighting, like cunt fighting or something, right? Because Australians always say cunt. Anyways... Talk to you guys soon. Fight commentary breakdowns out.